So here it is, the G70 Generation 7 Series, and it's the most advanced, most luxurious BMW ever made. In this new video, we're going to walk you through the new 7 Series, its design, its technology, its luxuries, and even some of its new model variants. As always, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and click the little bell icon for notifications for whenever we post new videos. Up front, both the 7 Series and BMW i7 have the same grille and the same new split headlights. Sure, some model variants have subtle variations, such as the 760i's dark trim around the grille, but they're all the same for the most part. The new split headlight design also looks great, giving the front end more verticality, which reduces the visual impact of the large grille. Despite being bigger and brasher than the previous Generation 7 series, this new front end design is actually better looking and less offensive. Down the sides of the car, flush door handles, aerodynamic wheels, and honest to goodness Hoffmeister kinks flank the new 7 series. It also gets fancy Rolls Royce like automatic doors, which open and close at the push of a button. Those aerodynamic wheels are big too, sitting at 19 inches as standard, with 20 inch and 21 inch wheel options, including M Performance wheels. However, it's inside the car that truly matters. The G77 series has the most opulent, luxurious, and high tech cabin ever fitted to a BMW product. Front passengers are treated to an all-new dashboard layout that includes a backlit crystal-like trim, dubbed the Interaction Bar, that can change colors and is one of the more unique features of any BMW interior in history. Not only can the driver customize its color scheme, but they can also choose how it reacts to certain events, such as phone calls or welcome and goodbye effects. The BMW 760i gets a sporty three-spoke steering wheel with a slightly flat bottom while the i7 gets a two-spoke steering wheel, much like the BMW iX, but this time it is in hexagonal and it has a flat bottom. Also like the iX, the 7 Series center console features a toggle switch gear selector and the same array of buttons and rotary wheel. Ahead of that little gang of buttons and switches lie two cup holders, which are individually covered. It's an unusual design, not a bad one or a good one, just very different, but it looks interesting and each cup holder is both heated and cooled. Handling all the tech up front is BMW's iDrive 8. It's the exact same system found in the BMW iX and X7 LCI, which means the 7 Series and i7 get the same new infotainment system and same digital driver's display screen, both of which are attached at the hip. Move to the back and the tech multiplies. Rather than just one screen, passengers get up to three, one of which is optional and bigger than all other 7 Series screens put together. In a standard 7 Series backseat, there are two screens, one in each of the rear door panels, located just ahead of the armrest. Those screens control everything rear passengers could want, ambient lighting, climate control, sunshades, and the sunroof. Anything that can be controlled is controlled by said screens. However, if you add the theater screen option, you get a massive 31-inch 8K widescreen display that folds down from the headliner of the car for a literal theater-like effect. It features built-in Amazon Fire TV, which allows passengers to watch any sort of streaming content they can imagine through the car's own 5G connection. Being Fire TV based, your home Amazon Fire TV app data transfers to the car. So if you're watching a movie at home, pause at any point and get in the car, the movie will resume playing from the same spot in the back of your 7 Series or i7. When using the theater screen, Rear passengers can listen to their movies or shows using either the all-new, optional, 36-speaker, 1965-watt Bowers & Wilkins Diamond Surround Sound System with 4D audio technology that uses exciters in the front and rear seats. If you don't spec that option, you still get a Bowers & Wilkins system, but it's an 18-speaker, 655-watt system. Or, rear passengers can use Bluetooth headphones to listen if they choose to do so privately. Using that same data connection, the BMW 7 Series can become a device on your T-Mobile service plan, which means if you connect your car to your plan and your phone dies or breaks, you can just make calls and send texts with your car. It's like having a car phone all over again, just better. Forget the tech though, let's talk speed. Utilizing BMW's all-new S68 engine, the BMW S60i has a 4.4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 that makes 536 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. BMW claims a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of just 4.2 seconds. That engine is also paired with an 8-speed automatic gearbox and X-Drive all-wheel drive as standard. Unfortunately for you tech-hating, horsepower-loving, old-school car enthusiasts, tech and speed are one and the same in the BMW i7. 
The i7X Drive 60 is powered by dual electric motors that are made using no rare earth materials at all. Maximum power output is 536 horsepower and 549 pound-feet of torque, which, ironically, or not so ironically, gives it the same horsepower as the 760i. According to BMW, 060 happens in 4.5 seconds, and the i7 has a top speed of 149 miles per hour. There are less powerful 7 series options as well, such as the BMW 735i and 740i, both of which are powered by a heavily updated B58 3 liter turbocharged inline 6 with 48 volt mild hyper technology. The 735i makes 268 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque, while the 740i makes 375 horsepower and 383 pound feet of torque. A diesel option will also be available, the BMW 740D, which uses an updated 3-liter turbocharged inline-six diesel, putting out 281 horsepower and 479 pound-feet. The final model variant, and potentially the most exciting, is the BMW M760e plug-in hybrid. The M760e uses a variant of the 740i's B58 engine, only paired with a larger electric motor. Both powertrains combine to make 563 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. That's more torque than a BMW M5 CS, all while being able to drive for up to 52 miles on electric power alone. This new BMW 7 Series is by far the most advanced and luxurious BMW ever made. Additionally, it's the first all-electric BMW 7 Series in history. For the first time in a very long time, BMW has the chance to put the 7 Series back on top of the luxury sedan segment and even help create a new all-electric luxury sedan segment. This new G77 Series is going to pave the way for the future of BMW and so far, it looks promising.